Hey everybody, this is Brad of Pisces Pet Emporium here. We're gonna be going over my favorite snake today, the Thai bamboo rat snake, and let's get right into this. And welcome Pison, we sell animals. All right, everybody. So this is actually my favorite species of snake is the Thai bamboo rat snake. Um, they have the nicest colors of any other snake, in my opinion, and their two racing stripes from their eyes down to their tail are probably the coolest patterns of any snake out there. But they do have their own set of care that is separate from most other snakes out there, actually. Um, for the most part, they have a very different temperature gradient. And overall, they're a very odd snake personality wise. So in this video today, I'm going to go over a very basic care guide with you. Um, first things first, I want to talk about tank size. So for a juvenile snake, you're only going to really want about a 20 gallon long tank. A lot of these snakes are only going to come in about this big, but they're really good at escaping. So you're going to want a terrarium lock here. The nice thing about the Zillas is that they do come with a locking area where you can add one of these locks to it without any issues. As a baby or a juvenile, a 20 gallon long is going to be sufficient, but these guys do get to be about four feet long as an adult. So with that being said, I am going to recommend a about a 40 gallon breeder, or if you wanna give them a really nice big home, about a 75 gallon. So the most important part about this snake is actually gonna be the temperature. You're not gonna want anything higher than about 80. 77 to 80 is gonna be the temperature gradient you want for the hot side of the tank. To achieve that, I recommend a thermostat with a heat pad here, literally set to 77. This species will always do better colder than warmer. This species does not tolerate high heat at all. They will get too hot and they will just wither and pass away. So 77 to 80, I cannot stress that temperature out enough. The other way that you can also help with their temperature gradient is giving them a large water bowl. And I do recommend a large water bowl, something that they can fit their entire bodies in to cool off if necessary, as well as these snakes do drink a lot of water and they like the high humidity of a large water bowl. This guy right here is gonna be what you're gonna to wanna to use for substrate as it keeps humidity really well and it's a very dense, packed soil that you can really mold and let the snake burrow in. This is probably my number one recommendation and the and probably the best product out there for any Asian rat snake to be used as the substrate. These guys are more of a nocturnal species, so if you do want to give them a UVB light to benefit them during the day, I'm only going to recommend about a third of the tank. Although UVB is not necessary, it will always be beneficial. Overall, this species is, in my opinion, one of the best rat snake species out there, old world or new world. If you talk to me, I'm always gonna give you an old world Asian rat snake bias, either being the Vietnamese blue beauty, the Mandarin rat snake, or even the rhino rat snake that we sadly can't own here in Alberta. But overall, what I do really recommend is picking yourself up a Thai bamboo rat snake if you really want a different kind of snake in your collection. They have beautiful colors, an interesting personality that matches the spark of a rat snake um, and for the most part it is one of my favorite species to work with in my personal collection at home. Um, I do work with these snakes and I can't say enough good things about them. The only thing is is you have to handle them as a baby. If you don't handle them as a baby they're gonna have an attitude as an adult and they can't really come out of that attitude once they get to being an adult. These snakes as a whole are a spicy snake because them being an Asian rat snake a little bit more vocal uh, they'll buzz their tail to pretend to be a rattler and making loud noises as well as they'll flatten their body and create a double S shape in their neck um, so for the most part if you don't want a snake that's too spicy make sure to handle it as a baby but I digress. For the most part, if you guys are interested in a new and cool, interesting snake to add to your collection that doesn't require a lot, weekly feedings, 77 degree temperatures, what's better to love? My name is Brad and this is for Pisces Pet Emporium.